Hello, I'm Robin Worley. Welcome to Lenscraft. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about camera profiles in Lightroom. In the previous video I did, I showed how you could select different camera profiles in the camera calibration tab and how you could install other camera profiles which you can download from my website or those other websites on the internet. Well, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit more about these camera calibration profiles and actually how you can go about creating your own. Now this image that you see um, on my preview at the moment was captured on a Fuji X-T2 camera and Fuji are well known for having great camera profiles. So if we look here you see some of the camera profiles that ship that can be used with the Fuji X-T2. And there's some very nice ones here. So one of the uh, most commonly used is the Provia film profile. And there you can see immediately how that colours the image. Very nice. And you could go for a softer look with the Astia look. And that actually makes the oranges a little bit more vibrant. Or you could go for a totally saturated look with something like a Velvia. And that really is a little bit over the top for me. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to show you how you can take a standard profile such as this and create your own profiles similar to the ones I've just shown you. Now, although I'm demonstrating this with a Fuji X-T2 camera, you can use any camera that you want, providing you've shot the image as a RAW file and that you're going to then save this as a DNG file. So let's start off and the first thing we want to do is actually export this image as a DNG file. So I've right clicked on the image. I'm now going to go export to DNG and I'm going to put this just in my documents folder so I know where to find it in a minute. OK, now that's exporting the file. And the next thing we're going to do once that's finished, there we are, that's it opened. And the next thing we're going to do is open another piece of software. Now this is called the DNG Profile Editor and it ships with uh, Adobe. If you look on the internet and you Google the DNG Profile Editor, you'll be able to download this software for free. And what it lets you do is actually open a DNG file. So let's have a look at the one I've just created. And there we find the image open. And what you see now is a picker um, that I've got where I can actually select a colour. So let's just pick that colour. And let's say that we now want to move that colour. Instead of being this orangey colour, I'd like to move it more towards a more of a vivid red colour. I'd like to saturate it more and I'd like to lighten it. Sorry, uh, darken it a little bit. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to take the blue sky and at the moment it's looking a little bit uh, insipid. So I'd actually like to make it darker and I might push it a little bit more out to that shade or that hue and increase the saturation more. And next sample I'll take is one in the yellows. And I'm going to push that more over to a yellow. I'm going to saturate it further. And I'm also going to darken it just slightly. And then I'm going to take a green down here. And we'll push that more over into the greens. With the hue. And I'm going to saturate it a little bit further. And I'm also going to lighten it just slightly. So there's some initial changes that I've made. If we go up to the options, you can see where um, we can actually turn off the previewing of those changes. And if we turn them back on, you can see the difference. So you can also select any of these and then pick to actually change them further. And here you see the before colour and where it's going to on the after colour. So, you know, we can really 
pump up the uh, saturation on some of these or change the brightness or lightness of them and change the hue and same with the blues we can change that make it more vibrant deeper and that allows you quite a lot of color adjustment now let's have a look at the tone curve and this is just set to a base tone profile i'm going to set it to camera default sorry camera raw default and now i'm going to actually add in a little bit more contrast and i'm going to darken that but i'm also going to lighten it a little bit in the shadows just to stop it uh, becoming too dark and then i'm going to actually up the contrast a little bit there on the whites and we'll just make that a little bit brighter that can stay level and we'll just make that a bit darker so we've upped the contrast there on the tone curve maybe we'll just make these a little bit lighter and brighter there we go okay so we can also see if we turn off the tone curve adjustment just how different that actually makes the image look now once we've done we can actually save this as a recipe for future use now i'm not going to do that what i'm actually going to do is on this one just export the profile and when i do that it will actually place a profile file that's generated into my profile or camera profiles that lightroom uses and we looked at this in the previous video and where to find these but it automatically opens in the right folder so if I just name this as Robin's demo and we save that. Now in Lightroom, we just have to close down Lightroom. We can close the profile editor. And if we restart Lightroom now. OK, we're back in Lightroom. If we now look over at the camera calibration tab, we should find that we've got the new profile that we created available and as you can see as soon as we select that substantial change in the image you can see the before and after here so that's quite a change especially in in the areas of the sky and you can use this method to create all sorts of profiles including black and white color and you can even use it to set the white balance on infrared images to prevent the blood red look that you get when you edit them with Adobe software. Now I've shown you an example here just using a landscape image with limited colors. If you want to do this properly you need to get yourself a very cheap um, color card, one of the color checker cards. Um, you can buy them off eBay quite cheaply or at reasonable prices and if you photograph that it will give you access to all the colors you need to be able to adjust and really take control of the image and the color profile to go with it. If you're interested in using the Adobe DNG profile editor, just Google Adobe DNG profile editor and there you'll get the links to this and you can download it from the Adobe site for free um, it was last updated a long time ago but it's still very useful for creating those profiles and quite often you can create something very dramatic with those hope you found that interesting and something new more to come in the future see you soon Thank you.